Okay, so I'm going to go over a quick tutorial that covers how to set up a render queue. So you can, when you get a lot of your projects done, uh, you could set this up to have things automatically render the first project and the second project, third project, kind of as you go. So what I have here are two projects. I've got this animation, just a simple box moving, nothing special, but it'll render fast. That's why I'm choosing it. And then I have this ball that has some dynamics and drops in and leaves the screen. Okay, so there's those two projects. First thing you want to do is make sure your render settings are all set up how you want them to be and save them. Okay, so we've got output all frames. That's the first thing to check. I'm going to keep it at this um, render size for now. And then I'm going to choose a new path. And for this, I'm going to make a new folder. And I'll just call this ball test create. So that's the folder. Projects are going to be called ball. That's fine. Save. And then PNG sequence is what I want for that. And physical renderer is good. So I've got my output set up, all frames. I've got my path to where it's going to go. After I have all that set, then make sure you save it. Okay. And do the same thing on your other one. I got my box here again, physical render output, all frames, create a new path here. Make sure the path is local to your machine so we can find it. I'm going to create a new folder for this and call it box and box move is fine. Save PNG sequence. Good. And then again, make sure you save project with all those settings and paths and everything set. Okay. Then what we're going to do is go up to render. Okay. And go to add to render queue. Okay. So it'll put the box one here and um, it's going to give you a little bit of information about where the output is going. So you can check that and where the document is. Okay, so we'll close that one. And then navigate to the other file, ball, same thing, add to render queue. Okay, so now I've got both of these in here. And then simply just go to this uh, start rendering and hit play. It'll give you not much, it's not showing you progress. <laughs> it should show you progress. This little button means it's rendering. So maybe it's gonna go through its whole setting first before it goes to the next one. Um, I think that's the case, yeah. So it won't show you a preview of the first one, unfortunately, but when this little orange button is under R for render, that means it's rendering. And then basically, once that sequence is done, it will just go to number two and render that out. So like, if you are pretty methodical about setting up your render settings for all your projects and uh, have all your assets in together, everything in the same place, you could definitely set up like all 12 of your projects if you wanted to and just hit go uh, and uh, render overnight if you wanted. Uh, I would recommend using the lab because these computers are gonna render a little faster and of course it doesn't take up your laptop space to do that. Um, but once this is done processing, then it will, um, it, it should uh, show you the, the, uh, the progress. So in the bottom left corner, you can see down here that it is getting close to finishing. But also if we open up our file, we should be able to see, which one are we doing first? The ball? No. The box? Yes. So that's rendering. Lots of files are popping in there. So that's good. Uh, and then, okay, so once that's done, it gives you a little finish status, a little green go light, and then the second one gives you the preview. So that you can watch the render time kind of cascade through. Not sure why the first one doesn't, uh, but once that's finished, uh, then you should have both your projects ready to go. All right, so this is finishing up. And once we get the green light, we can check on both of them and it should be set. All right, everything's finished. So this 
render queue is all set. If you started another one, it would just revamp this whole thing and start again. But basically we have um, both of our folders. We have the ball animation, all the files here, box animation, won't open. There we go, all the files here. And again, you just wanna make sure that you separate those so they're easier to manage when you're um, loading them into After Effects. All right, any questions about that?